What's up guys, it's Plasma and today I'm going to show you how to install Cracked Minecraft on Ubuntu 18.04 or Linux Mint 19. The process is a little bit more complicated now because there is this thing with Java where it just allows you to run Minecraft properly in a lot of instances and this goes for premium Minecraft too. And so I'm going to show you how to properly install Cracked Minecraft on Linux or on Linux Mint. So let's, let's do it. First step on to installing Minecraft on Linux Mint 19 or Ubuntu 18.04 is to downgrade Java from 11 to 8. This is important because Minecraft is optimized to work on 8. And so I'm going to show you how to do it. On Ubuntu, you have to open a terminal, which you can go by going to here and looking for terminal, or you can just do control all plus T. And then you want to type in sudo space app space install space open jdk dash a dash jdk. Enter it, and then it will ask you for your password. Know that it will not show what you're typing at all when you're typing your password, but it is in fact typing it in. And then we'll go ahead and install it. Alright, if you want to install it on Linux Mint, this is an option to a Linux Mint user. You can install it through here. Of course it says install, but I actually do have it. Let me refresh the software real quick. My bad. So if you look up open JDK in the software manager. As you can see, it is installed because I did it through the terminal. The next thing that we have to do is that we have to tell the system that we want, when we run Java, we want to use Java 8 and not Java 11. And the way to do that is that you type in sudo space update dash alternatives space dash dash config space Java. Type. And then you're going to look for the one that says Java 8 somewhere, which is this one right here. And as you can see right next to it, it says 2. And so we want to type in 2 in here and hit enter. To check that this actually worked properly, type in Java space dash version. And as you can see, it is running the correct version of Java. Now let's install Craft Minecraft. I'm going to be using an installer, it's called Skaya, or however you pronounce it. I'll show you what it is. It's like Ska something like that, it'll correct it. I'm sorry, I can't spell it right, it's right here. Alright, just go to this website, I'll give you the link to it, go to the launcher, launcher download, and put there and then you'll end up in an agbo page it helps support the developers of this launcher click and skip just close whatever this garbage is so we just want the launcher and so just download the launcher we'll go to downloads in here right click here click on show in folder we're done with the browser. Right click on this and click on extract here and you'll see this. Now you'll notice a few things in here. Now for Linux we want to go in here and then there is this jar file. Alright we're gonna want to right click on here and click on drag it to the desktop. Alright now this part is going to change depending on if you're on Linux Mint or Ubuntu, I'll show you both ways of doing it, but they all start the same way. First, you want to go to the home folder. So this is how you can get it to be in the start in here and not just the jar file. So it actually seems like it's installed. And so the first thing that you need to do is that I would just create a folder in your home directory and call it Minecraft. Don't call it .minecraft because this is actually where .minecraft goes and is in the home folder anyway. Go in there and put this in here. The other thing that we'll want to do is that we'll actually want to go back to the web browser. 
and we'll want to go Minecraft icon because we're going to have to supply the icon. Go to images, we'll find a good icon. You can really pick any of these, it doesn't have to be the generic icon, but that's what I'm going to do. And just save the image, okay, and I'm going to go and save it in that Minecraft folder that I have created. Right, now I don't need a web browser. And now, if you're on Ubuntu, you're going to do Control Alt plus T, or just open it from the menu, and just do sudo app, sudo space app space install space menu libre, and then you type in your password or whatever. I'm not going to do that because Linux Mint actually has a built-in one. They're practically identical, and so I'm you should be able to follow along with the one I'm about to use. On Linux Mint, all you have to do is right click on this menu icon, click on configure, it'll pull up this window, go to menu, and then click on open menu editor. And we've already got a menu editor in here. Click on games, which is right here, and click on new item. We're gonna call this Minecraft. I'm gonna call it Minecraft Skaya or whatever. And then we'll search for an icon, and that icon is this image right here. And then we're going to go to the command, click on browse, click on Minecraft, and click on this jar file. Now what we want to do is that we want to, in front of all of this directory, type in java space dash jar space. Alright, and then just leave all of this that came in here when you browsed. You can put whatever you want in here, Minecraft, you can put whatever you want in there, it doesn't matter. And then click OK. Alright. Now, if we go to the menu, as you can see, it'll show up. And eventually, it will open. As you can see, it says Outdated Launcher, but just click, I'm sure, Reset My Resettings if that comes up. And now you can type in a username. You can type in whatever you want here. I'm just going to type in my name, click play, and then you can go ahead and download a version of Minecraft. I'm just going to download 1.13.2. I already technically have it downloaded, so. And it will launch Minecraft 1.13.2. You can close all this stuff, by the way, because the taskbar will be less intractable if you're in that menu. Alright. Alright, and then this will work just fine in single player. Now, if you were to try to connect to any other kind of server and stuff like that, it won't be able to connect. Your skin will also fail to load. As you can see, I do have a skin. Alright, let's fix the server problem with Java. The way that you do that is that you open a web browser of choice, once again, and you're going to want to go on Google, look up on Google, Java. JRE, enter, and then you want to go here, click on accept the license agreement. Now, to clear up any confusion, you're probably like, we've already installed Java. Yes, we need a library that comes in this one that does not come in the package from the repositories. So we're going to go to Linux x64 and we want the tar.gz file. And we're going to put this in the downloads folder. And that'll take a minute to download, so I'll be back when it's done. Alright, once it's downloaded, go ahead and right click on it, click on show in folder, and you can just close the web browser. Right click on the tar.gz file and click on extract here. Alright. Now you want to go into this folder that just showed up. You want to go into lib, you want to go into security, and there's this file that's called CAC, CA certs. This is basically the connection certification file for Java in general. Put this on your desktop. Okay. The next thing you want to do is that this is where you need to pay attention. Open up to terminal again. Whether you're on Linux Mint or not, you want to open up to term terminal here. If you're on Linux Mint, you want to do sudo nemo. You want to do sudo nemo and type in your password. Alright, so you have an elevated file browser. If you're on Ubuntu, you want to do sudo nautilus. Nautilus. 
yeah, that's what it's, I believe that's what it's package name is. Um, you can look it up. I hope I don't have a typo. I'll have this in the description. This isn't going to work because, well, I don't have Nautilus on here. I'm on Linux bit. So you want to use sudo and have an elevated file browser. You want to go to file system or whatever the root of the drive is. You want to go to a folder. It's called etc. Then you want to go to a folder. It's called SSL. So it's going to be at the bottom. Um, SSL. Then you want to go to certs and then Java. And then those, this file right here, see the name? Delete that file and then this one on the desktop, put that in there. Awesome. Now, feel free to launch Minecraft again. This is for the cracked Minecraft and the premium Minecraft. I'm launching it premium, but I'm just here to show you that it works. Um, so. And I'll give just a second for this to download. Alright, now that I've done that, I can go to multiplayer and go to a Minecraft server. And as you can see, it is working just fine. I am now able to connect to a server and everything's good. So, yeah. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like, and yeah, have a good day, people.